Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordan, and I'm not sure how the quality or audio is going to be on this because I am recording on my camera for the first time, but that's besides the point. Today I'm going to be doing a one week postpartum update. I am one week postpartum as of today and I feel great. I have had an I had an amazing pregnancy, labor and delivery and recovery. So I'm just going to I don't know what to really include in this, but um so basically I had a third degree tear when I had the baby and so I had to get stitches and that hasn't hurt it's just uncomfortable because I mean obviously you're stretching something that's this big into a size of 13 plus inches so obviously it's going to be uncomfortable down there and there's going to be healing that needs to be done and the hospital will provide you with some dermaplast dermaplast um spray stuff and some tux pads and while I was in the hospital I did not use those at all because for one I wasn't sure what the point was or how to use them and for two I wasn't in any pain is and they also will prescribe will offer you um, some pain medicine but I didn't take any because I was not in pain I don't know I believe that the pain and the everything, healing, labor, pain, everything, it has to do with your mindset on pregnancy and I had a very positive one and I was very ready and positive and I was confident in my labor and delivery and everything. So I believe that's why I have, I'm not completely done healing, I still have bleeding, um, but I do believe my mindset has helped me not be in so much pain or you know but so the <laughs> this is going to get a little bit TMI here okay so if you are not interested in hearing about that stuff then this isn't the video for you but I'm just going to be honest with y'all so because I know there are some expecting parents who watch my channel and I do want to just ex tell y'all how mine went my labor, delivery, postpartum, everything. So, the first poop, okay, I'm not even gonna talk about that yet. So, in the hospital, after po after you deliver, you, my mind is so, I should have done notes, sorry. Um, so, when after you deliver, they will come in every like 10, 15 minutes and push on your stomach, and that to me was more, was the most painful thing out of the delivery contractions I didn't really have any that I felt um, everything the stitches postpartum everything pushing on my stomach after I had the baby hurt so bad and they do that to get extra blood out or like make sure I don't know but they do that so yeah um, and then they will, once you go into the mom and baby suite, they give you stool softeners in the morning and at night. And it doesn't make you poop. It just makes you, whenever you do need to go, it'll make it easier. And, yeah. So, peeing. At first, I had to, like, sit on the toilet. Like, I had to put my hand under one side so I wasn't, like, all the way flat on the toilet. And peeing was fine I was scared at first but it's fine pooping <laughs> pooping I was terrified um I didn't poop at the hospital some people think that they won't let you leave the hospital until you poop that's not true they just encourage you to poop well not really they don't they give you your stool softeners to help you like it's easier when you go I didn't go poop until I was I think one after I came home about one day one or two days after I got home and I was so scared. I was trying to hold it so bad. And I was trying to hold it so bad, I thought I was about to either poop myself or I don't know. But my boobs were leaking. That's how hard I was trying to hold it in. But I went poop and it was fine. It was 
I had bleeding afterwards, which is normal because I have stitches, but yeah, so pooping wasn't that bad. It was just scary because it's like, I haven't, I can't see like where the stitches are. I can't really feel them, so I'm like, okay, let's just hope this goes well. <laughs> but um, the other day, I went poop and a little stitch came out well I thought it was a stitch and I freaked out because I was like I had pooped before that so I was like okay I know how it goes it's gonna be fine like everything's good but um I pooped in this little I thought I had ripped a stitch and I started freaking out I called the hospital and they told me that it's normal it's this when it was a little knot thing and she said that it's normal and it just means that the stitch underneath the skin has dissolved so I guess that's good um I've only lost one and I don't know how many stitches I have so I'll be on the lookout for more <laughs> but um yeah also let me think um my boob my milk came in my second day after I gave birth and I am breastfeeding she's doing great she latches on fine um I did have some like the first two nights or first night um it was new I've never breastfed she's obviously never been fed um so it was new for both of us and we didn't really know what we were doing and I did have some I did crack my nipples they weren't bad, but it was just my right. <laughs> my right one, it had like a little cut on it, it looked like. And it went away after my milk came in. Um, and now I'm breastfeeding perfectly fine. My little baby's a chunky little chunky butt. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. I know... Um, the hospital will give you some big old granny panties and pads and like the dog training pad looking type things. They'll give you those and they give you the tux pads, the dermaplast, and they'll give you pain medicine if you need it. I really haven't taken pain medicine. They gave me um, they gave me a prescription because. I was there for three days and didn't have no pain so I got discharged and she asked would you like me to give you a prescription just in case you feel pain and so I said I got I said yeah so I have the prescription I have yet to pick it up it's so I haven't needed anything but um yeah <sighs> um for postpartum care I definitely recommend getting the po it's the brand poise pads and it's the maximum strength they're to me a lot more comfortable than the hospital pads and I also got some like dis basically adult diapers and those were uncomfortable um, the hospital will give you like you just have to call them and say hey I need some more underwear I need some more pads I need some more anything and they'll bring it to you so the hospital was wonderful I delivered it at Sacred Heart and they're just so amazing I hope everybody can have that type of birth birthing experience and postpartum care like I did and yeah so I'm going to show y'all my stomach and how it looks seven days postpartum so Alright, so this is my stomach postpartum seven days. I can fit into some shorts that I had from before my pregnancy. I have some. If I suck in, I look pregnant still. So, yeah. 
that is all for this video I hope y'all enjoyed it and I hope it's helpful and I will probably be doing sorry I'm so close <laughs> I will probably be doing some more postpartum updates just to keep y'all updated and keep myself updated for memories and whatnot and I'm going to be doing a baby up a baby first week update my labor and delivery story so stay tuned for all that and subscribe and give it a like comment if you have any questions or want to see anything and I just made myself out of breath. 